TVs and commercials. Give me a second, people. I'm gonna hit the mute button. Damn you, mute button. Ah, you mute button. The mute button doesn't work on the remote control. This is a weird remote control. Power button. And that's about it. The power button is the only thing that doesn't work, and now I found out that the mute... Oh, it does work. But you gotta press it real hard. It is 1.27 a.m. You get that? It is 1.27 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. Which means that yesterday, or two, three hours ago, was a Tuesday. And now it's Wednesday morning. Wednesday early morning. It's been a couple of weird days. Weather's been acting stupid. You know, today was cloudy and rainy. Monday was cloudy and rainy. And today I decided to, you know what? I'm going to improvise. So I'm going to give myself a time limit of alarm. Let me see now. 1228. Let's go to edit. Uh, 38 a.m. and done. When this thing rings, I sign off. I'm sure I'm supposed to be in bed right now, believe it or not. What you will call it, but uh, what you will call it, I don't know. Give me a second here. Edit. There you go. Done. Now it's done. I don't know how to set up the alarm on my smartphone, so I'm using my flip phone. You know, it's been a weird couple of days, and I mean that in the sense that the weather's been acting stupid. I've been busy at my job, but as of Saturday, I am not working there for the next two weeks. The kid's away, which means I get to do whatever I want. I have to do plenty of videos, which I keep putting off, and I only have two weeks to do them because then the editor goes to college. And college students, I'm sorry to say this, but once you guys go to college, school comes first and everything else is second. And he's going to be busy doing homework, so I won't be able to upload anything until maybe October, maybe November. I'm going to have a long gap of subscribers. So it's like I'm saying, I keep putting it off. I'm either tired or sleepy, and I don't know what the hell to do right now. I had to get off the computer and at the multitask by watching TV. I finally moved my antenna from the top of the TV over here where the air conditioner is, fan. And now I got good reception. In fact, I'm multitasking right now. I'm here talking to you guys on YouTube, but I'm watching a movie right now, although it's in commercials right now. I'm watching a movie called Tequila Sunrise with Mel Gibson and Kurt Russell and Michelle Pfeiffer and that piece of shit Gabriel Damon. You might remember him as Hobbs from the movie Robocop 2. And it's funny that I'm doing this video late at night because I don't want no one to know that I'm doing this video. My mom's asleep. Grandpa's asleep. My aunt is next door over there. If you look at my hand, there's a room over there. She's asleep. The editor is down the hall. And you know what's weird? That if he were to do videos in his room with his camera, he can't get any good audio because he's right next to the LIE. Or as I like to call it, lie. Lie, 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 lie. I wish you could raise my voice, but if I raise my voice, everybody will go to bed. So it's been a weird, weird, weird time frame right now. Uh, I'm almost a year right now. I remember about a year ago, SummerSlam was here. SummerSlam week was here a, a year ago. And it was a very weird time last summer. This summer is no different. Whenever I'm ready to hit the street for my business the weather doesn't cooperate or it's sunny but it's not that hot people don't buy I overload I get a little bit overconfident let me see now I didn't sell on Saturday uh, Sunday there was there was a parade I was gonna think I was thinking about going to the Dominican parade but I put it off because I was too lazy to travel to Manhattan and not to mention that some of those parades scared the you know what out of me in particular, the Puerto Rican Day Parade scares the you-know-what out of me. I've seen, all you got to do is go here on YouTube and type in Puerto Rican Day Parade Fights. And you'll understand why I am petrified to go to those parades. Even to hang out, even to see girls, because I feel like I'm going to get caught in the middle of a crossfire. So the Dominican Parade, I don't know how good or bad it is. It doesn't get that much publicity like the Puerto Rican Day Parade. 
and I should have gone last Sunday, but it was my mom's birthday. And last Sunday would have been perfectly because it was hot. Then came Monday, it was cloudy. But it wasn't that bad. It was sunny, and I hit the street, and it's cloudy. I only sold for like two hours, and I just decided to call it a day and, go, and come home. And today was going to be a shitty day. When I was out, I was surprised that the sun looked like it wanted to come out. So I didn't do anything. And I just had to and I just had to put my time to good use, but I had to get off the fucking computer. Put on the podcast that I haven't listened to in a while. Try to catch up. Some of those podcasts like the like the What Happened When podcast with a Conrad Thompson and Tony Schiavone, somebody tell us to go to the Daily Network and find the video of the topic and watch it and narrate it. Which brings to another conclusion. Should this be a podcast or video blogs? I'm beginning to question that. So here's a dilemma. If it was a blog, sorry, if it was a podcast, it would be something like, uh, ba, 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 ba. I'm going to have to use this analogy right here. I need something black to explain to you what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? All you get is a, imagine this screen, pause. Now I'm back. That is the equivalent of a podcast, an audio podcast. Or I do something like this. I put a picture of the topic right there. And it and it's just you only you don't really watch the video, you just listen to the backdrop, you listen to the background. And now they got a video podcast audio podcast and sometimes even though your podcast gets cut off of a big company you could still do a podcast I could do a podcast if I wanted to which I am working on one believe it or not my friend Tony Mama Luke was like hey man when are you gonna do the podcast and I this would be a perfect time because I'm not working the next two weeks I just don't have any material it could be just a random podcast you know Pauly Shore had a podcast I didn't even know he had a podcast a couple of years ago then the podcast got canceled. He still does a podcast on his website, but it's just an audio of him talking, you know, my day, my day, my day. Kind of like this blog, but it's just audio. And again, you don't see anything. You just see that. Or you see this and a green light, and all you hear is the backdrop, and you got to have a good radio voice. Like, I forgot that guy's name, Malky player some I don't know I don't want to look up the information but the guy I don't know much about him he has like every big youtuber he has a fan base but he also has the voice of a radio PJ also I wanted to tell you something I had a dream two days ago a weird weird dream and in, in that dream a naked Indian saw me and he told and he took me to meet Jim Morrison and Jim Morrison told me that I should put up a concert in Flushy Meadow Park. Should I do it? Should I not do it? And it's the purpose of life. I asked him in the dream, what is my purpose in life? And he said, you must put up a concert in, in a Flushy Meadow Park. But the question is, Flushy Meadow Park is so big. Can we seal off an area and pay? You people have to guess what, what, what lingo I'm talking about. I bet you have people don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's weird because I was watching the movie not too long ago, and I gave away my joke. Interesting phenomenon, don't you say? You know, this is my first blog doing it in, in the middle of the night, and I like it. I like the setup. It's slower pace. The lighting is a little bit weird, and I'm pissed off that I have to settle for backdrops like this. See, I want to use cool backdrops. I want to use nice backdrops with weird designs, like those old 1990s commercials when everything was all splattered all over the place. But I got no fucking room. I'm surprised I was able to build up this set in a matter of minutes, and I got the movie not on pause because I don't have a DVR. But I have the movie on pause, and I'm sitting here uh, watching Tequila Sunrise while I'm doing my work. When I realized this movie was on, I said, I got to put the pause get off the fucking computer, and I thought, you know what, let's get this blog over with. I've always liked, liked to do blogs on weekends, but I work on weekends. And it's weird that not, this year I decided to do blogs at night. That's the beauty about this camera. It's got good lighting. My other camera, which was a great camera, 
doesn't take it only takes good snapshots but horrible videos. How who would think that a simple camera that only costs twenty five bucks would work? I upgraded my equipment and I'm just killing time. Let me see now. It says ten minutes and nineteen seconds, but the alarm has not sound. But I got one more minute to go. So what else can I talk about? Tomorrow's gonna be eighty eight degrees. I had to hit the street again for business. And next Monday is going to be crucial. Two things. Next Monday is a solar eclipse. And next Monday, I'm going to be watching SummerSlam. And that's the alarm. You know, the sound of this alarm is very haunting. It reminds me, of, I don't know why I got this weird sound from last year. But anyway, I'm going off topic. I'm going to do the same thing I did with WrestleMania this year. I just, I'm just i switching the subject here a little bit. But next Monday, we have a solar eclipse, and I will be watching SummerSlam on a Monday. See, for those of you who don't remember, SummerSlam always aired on Mondays from 1988 till 1994. I, I just discovered today, listening to Sean Mooney and Hacksaw Jim Duggan, that the 1992 SummerSlam was taped on a Saturday, but aired on a Monday tape delay, and the buy rate was not that high, but it's interesting, with the internet back then, people were able to watch it two days later and enjoy the show, and they didn't watch it live, they watched it two days later. I'm doing that with SummerSlam because my Sundays are booked now, which brings me to the conclusion that I ran out of time. Whatever material I don't have is going to roll over to the next video. I only need to make this video, well now it's 11 minutes and 52 seconds. I got to stop, I got to close shop finish watching this movie, and then go to bed. Because i got to wake up tomorrow. It's going to be hot tomorrow. 88 degrees. All right, people, I'm signing off. Sayonara. I enjoy doing this blog late at night. And I'm going to hear my own sound and my own voice. Do I sound slower? Faster? Am I, am I zoning you out? Signing off, people. Good night, sweet dreams, and... Uh, I hope the bed bugs bite ya. See you guys later.